News for Women. Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am Tierica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is August 7th, 2023. Here is the Feisty News for Women. According to ABC News, the federal government has launched a civil rights investigation into Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles for its treatment of Black women. The civil rights suit is finally happening seven years after the death of Kira Dixon Johnson, a Black mother who died from internal bleeding following a C-section. Kira's husband, Charles Johnson, told ABC News that he spotted blood in his wife's catheter and reported to the medical staff who ignored him. 10 hours later, his wife was dead. Thankfully, their son Langston survived. After grieving his wife, Charles filed a medical malpractice lawsuit and then a civil suit against Cedar sinai Medical Center in May 2022, alleging that racism played a role in his wife's lack of urgent medical attention. We had to create a hashtag so that people in our society would even consider that our lives matter. We have to take the brunt of every single racist anger. Even in the midst of giving birth to new life, our pain is ignored again and again. Black women should not have to ask for common respect. It's a damn shame. In other news, this week, we must salute a true man among men. Sanil Jaglan is a 41-year-old man born into a small town in India that is infamous for its patriarchal laws and gender bias, including prenatal sex tests, which allow parents to find out if they're having a girl so that they can schedule an abortion. Sanil followed along with these destructive rituals until he became a father of a daughter. After his daughter was born, he tried to honor the helpful nurse with a tip, but she refused, saying, it is a daughter hanging her head. He looked at her and asked, are you ashamed of yourself? Since then, Sunil has made it his life mission to change the rules for dishonoring women in his Indian town. Sunil has called for the monitoring of pregnant women to prevent them from doing prenatal sex tests, asked men to pledge not to make sexist slurs at home, asked his fellow villagers to install nameplates on their homes to honor their daughters in the same way that the sons are honored. And he became famous when he created the hashtag selfie with daughter, encouraging men to be proud of their daughters. Sanil, you are an angel in human form. Thank you so much. The world needs more men like you. Well, it's time for a break. Where the Asian women at? The truth behind why Asian women seem invisible in the boardroom. When we come back, don't miss it. I'm Stephanie with Therabomb. It's my mission to help women feel more confident by repairing and restoring their skin to its healthiest state. A scar from an injury or surgery can make you feel insecure, depressed, and anxious. Therabomb Rose is the first all natural CBD scar treatment infused with botanicals like rose hips, chamomile, and calendula, proven to repair skin, reduce the risk of infection, minimize the appearance of scars, and relieve topical discomfort. Think of it like a soothing magic eraser for your skin. Our product is all natural, cruelty-free, non-GMO, and made with organic ingredients. Learn more or try it risk-free at GetTheraBomb.com. That's Get, T-H-E-R-A-B-A-L-M.com. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women. Girl, guess what? According to a recent analysis of women in the workplace, Asian American women are struggling with advancement. What's going on with our Asian sisters? Let's talk with Sheena Yap Chan, the host of the podcast, Tao of Confidence. Sheena, welcome to the feisty. We need all brilliant women to stand up in leadership. So what's happening with Asian women in the workplace? First off, thank you to Erica for having me on the Feisty News for Women show today. I'm, it's such an honor to be here. And part of the reasons why Asian women aren't advancing in leadership roles is first and foremost, the negative stereotypes we go through. Society thinks Asian women are quiet, submissive, and obedient. And because of that, we're not seen in 
leadership roles. And this is why it's so important to create a stronger representation to showcase Asian women as leaders so we can build more leaders that goes beyond our community as well. From the moment we're born, we're told to go to school, get a job, get married, never rock the boat, just do as you're told, stay in the background, always be the perfect daughter, the perfect wife, the perfect sister, never make any trouble, never put shame to your family name. I mean, it's, there's so many things, right? And th this is just probably like a fraction of what we're supposed to do as Asian women. Trying to live to your parents' expectation is hard, right? Because you want to be able to live life on your terms versus what you've been told, you know, from generation to generation to generation. And so for me, the moment I let that go was the moment I felt really free and realized I can do this. Even though I had a podcast called The Tao of Self-Confidence, the first five years, I was probably the least confident because I was still going through my my own feelings, going through my own struggles. And I realized that I didn't need anybody's permission except for myself, not even my parents, not even my friends. I realized if I really wanted to do something for myself, I had to start it. It was up to me. To all the Asian women who's watching this, I want you to know that it's our time to boss up right? To show the world what we're capable of, to show the world that we're not seen by our negative stereotypes, that you are a leader, a boss, and a phenomenal woman in your own right. So stand up, be the Asian woman that you're meant to be. And I can't wait to see you thriving and cheering you on along the way. Thank you so much, Sheena. I hope that every woman that hears your voice gains the confidence to stand in her power. Be sure to be inspired by Sheena on her podcast, The Tao of Confidence on iTunes. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty News for Women.